Do you know that most business owners lose ownership of their business without even realizing it until it's too late? It's true. How you fund your business could affect how you structure and run your business. You don't just accept funds from any source without considering the implications. Stick with me to the end of this video to learn how to fund your business without losing ownership. And if you're just meeting me for the first time, my name is Flora, here in this channel. My passion is making sure that your business and personal development skills are top notch. It's okay to comment and subscribe to this channel if this is the type of content you enjoy. Let's get into the video. How to fund your business without losing ownership. To fund your business, you need to understand that there are two ways to externally achieve that, which is debt and equity. By debt, I mean the owner is meant to pay back the money collected from the investor while still retaining ownership of the business. But if you fail to meet your commitment to the lender under certain circumstances, can force the company into liquidation. While equity, on the other hand, is a form of funding that requires the business owner to give up part of the company to the investor in exchange for financial commitment. In this case, the owner is not obligated to pay back the money to the investor, rather they become joint owners of the company. Now that we have a proper understanding of what type of funding to focus on, which is debt funding, right? So let's discuss various ways to fund your business using debt funds. That is how to fund your business without losing ownership. The first way to do that is personal funds, popularly called bootstrapping. This simply means using the money you have instead of borrowing or raising. It is by far one of the best funding approaches for business, especially for startups. You can then bring in outside sources of funding when you run out of funds or when you decide you need something more. The personal fund, you retain the ownership of the business and make all the decisions and all that. Then the second way to fund your business without losing ownership is consider family and friends. This is when people that are related to you, either by blood or relationship, provide funds to support your business venture. If there are many people close to you that might want to see you succeed, just as much as you do. You might be lucky enough to have those amazing friends and family members that will be generous enough to donate money as a gift with no expectation of payback. But you have to be careful how you deal with this type of funding to avoid damaging relationship. The fact that they are your family and friends does not mean you will not give them a clear picture of what business you are starting and carry them along as you go. Be clear about the risk involved. The funds could come in form of loan or support, but will not involve giving up part of your share in the business. Although some family and friends still make good partners in business, but mostly it's just to, to support you. Even when they know you don't understand what it is you want to do, they just want to support you, you know? That's a good way to fund your business. The next way to fund your business that you might consider is consider grants. Grants are non repayable funds or products distributed or gifted by one party. Unlike many other types, funding from grants you don't have, don't have to be paid back. And business owners are not required to give up equity in exchange for grants. You may be able to get grants from government or non-governmental organization depending on your area of focus. If you meet certain requirements, in as much as it's free, you have to be qualified to be given grants. Find grants that are usually less competitive. Now the next way you can fund your business without losing equity is crowdfunding. Crowdfunding made it to this list because it's very low risk for business owners. When you raise funds for a business from a large number of people called crowdfunders, this is yet to be used because you don't have to receive a share of ownership in the business and they don't expect financial return on their money. In as much as crowdfunding is almost risk free, crowdfunding platform is different. So make sure to read the fine print or understand your full financial and legal obligation before signing up. Also, bear in mind that your funding pitch will make or break your campaign. And it works best when it goes hand in hand with smart social media skills and creativity. So the next one is consider small business loan. If you want to retain complete control of your business but don't have enough funds to start, consider a small business loan. I made a video on how to start your own business and how to write a simple business plan. I'll be dropping the link on the description box. That will help too. In conclusion, starting a business with limited capital requires a shift in mindset. You have to understand that there will come a time when you will need equity funds. But the point of this video is not to give away ownership easily. Make sure you have grown your business to a certain level and the equity is worth it. I will advise you as a startup that the best gift you can give to your business is not getting into unnecessary partnership. Feel free to ask any business related question on the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Skill Faculty is geared towards teaching promoting and empowering you with the skills needed to become a better version of yourself in all ramifications. Skill Faculty, we are on the side of skill.